Electrical Engineering Interview. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about your background and experience in electrical engineering? Certainly. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from XYZ University and have been working as an electrical engineer for the past five years. During this time, I have gained experience in designing and testing electrical systems, troubleshooting complex issues, and collaborating with cross-functional teams to ensure project success. That sounds like a great background. Can you give us an example of a particularly challenging project you worked on and how you overcame any obstacles? Sure. One project that comes to mind was designing a power distribution system for a large industrial facility. We encountered several challenges along the way, including limited space for equipment installation and complex interconnections between different components. To overcome these obstacles, we had to work closely with the facility's operations team to understand their specific needs and requirements, and then come up with creative solutions that would meet those needs, while also adhering to safety and regulatory standards. Ultimately, we were able to deliver a system that met all of the project's requirements and exceeded the client's expectations. That's impressive. How do you stay up to date with the latest developments and trends in the field of electrical engineering? I believe that staying current with the latest developments in the field is essential for any electrical engineer. I regularly attend industry conferences and seminars, read technical journals and publications, and participate in online forums and discussion groups. I also enjoy collaborating with my colleagues and sharing knowledge and best practices to stay current and improve my skills. Great. Can you tell us about a time when you had to work with a difficult team member or stakeholder and how you handled the situation? I once worked on a project where a team member was consistently missing deadlines and causing delays. I approached the team member and tried to understand the root cause of the issue. It turned out that they were struggling with some personal issues outside of work that were affecting their performance. I offered my support and assistance and worked with them to come up with a plan to get back on track. By showing empathy and working collaboratively, we were able to resolve the issue and complete the project on time. Thank you for sharing that with us. Can you tell us about a time when you had to make a difficult decision that impacted a project or team? Yes, I once had to make a difficult decision regarding a project schedule. We were facing a tight deadline and one of the team members was falling behind on their tasks. I had to decide whether to push the team member to work harder and risk compromising the quality of their work or to reassign their tasks to another team member and risk causing friction within the team. After careful consideration and consultation with my colleagues, I decided to reassign the tasks and redistribute the workload to ensure that the project remained on track and that the quality of the work was not compromised. It was a tough decision, but ultimately the right one for the project and the team. That's a good example of making a tough call. Can you tell us about a time when you had to explain a complex technical concept to someone who had little to no technical knowledge? Yes, I had to explain the concept of power factor correction to a client who was not familiar with electrical engineering. I started by breaking down the concept into simpler terms and analogies, such as comparing it to the efficiency of a car engine. I also used visual aids and diagrams to help illustrate the concept. By taking the time to explain the concept in a way that the client could understand, I was able to build trust and credibility and ensure that the client was able to make an informed decision. That's a great example of communication skills. Finally, can you tell us about a time when you had to innovate to solve a problem or improve a process? Yes, I once worked on a project where we had to design a power management system for a remote location that was prone to power outages. We had to come up with a solution that would not only provide reliable power, but also be sustainable and cost-effective. We decided to incorporate a hybrid power system that used a combination of solar panels and diesel generators, along with a battery storage system to ensure continuous power supply. This innovative solution 
not only met the client's needs, but also had a positive impact on the environment and saved the client money in the long run. Excellent. Finally, can you tell us why you are interested in this position and what you can bring to our organization? I am excited about the opportunity to work for a company that is at the forefront of the industry and is constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I believe that my experience and skills in electrical engineering, combined with my passion for innovation and problem solving, would make me a valuable asset to your organization. I am confident that I can contribute to the success of your projects and help drive growth and innovation in the field of electrical engineering. That's an impressive solution. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's all the questions we have for now. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us or ask us? I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to interview for this position. I'm excited about the possibility of joining your team and contributing to your organization's success. I look forward to hearing back from you soon. Remember, it's important to be prepared to answer both technical and behavioral questions in an electrical engineering interview. Be sure to highlight your experience with electrical systems, your problem-solving abilities, and your teamwork skills. Good luck!